OK, now one exception to the standard 3 inch minimum rule is the swage nipple. So let's have a closer look. Examples of swage nipples are depicted here. Swages are functionally similar to reducers in that they are used to make line size reductions in a straight run of pipe. But they are specifically designed for screwed and socket weld pipe. Screwed swages have external threads and are connected directly to the other screwed fittings without the need of a pipe nipple. Like reducers, they are available in either a concentric or eccentric shape, as depicted here. The following figure shows varying lengths and sizes of swage nipples. Keep in mind, swages are unique in that they can be used in screwed, socket weld, or butt weld configurations. When used in these configurations, swages will have a variety of different AND preparations. These AND preparation combinations allow the swage to be used in a number of different attachment applications. To put it simply, in other words, screwed to socket weld, butt weld to screwed, or butt weld to socket weld. Now, screwed swages will have threaded ends, socket weld swages will have plain end, and butt weld swages will have bevelet ends. Because socket weld swages are inserted into mating fittings, many companies allow the substitution of bevelet end swages. Since the end is inserted into the fitting and the weld is made on the outside of the fitting, it makes little difference how the end cut is made. Swages are also manufactured with different preparations on their opposing ends. When specifying a swage, you must use one of the following abbreviations. BBE, which stands for bevel both ends, as in this example, or TBE for thread both ends, or PBE for plain both ends as seen here, or BLETSE for bevel large end, thread small end, and finally PLETSE for plain large end, thread small end, as in this example. So, these are the possible abbreviations that you must use when specifying a swage. These abbreviations are also available in the downloadable resource section. Now, the following figure shows the drawing symbols for various swages. Next, the following dimension in chart provides the length or S dimension of swage fittings as a function of the pipe nominal size. Like reducers, you must always use the large end pipe size to find the length of the swage on the dimensioning chart. Recall, we have seen this in a previous video. Notice now the outlet section of the chart. This section simply indicates the range in which the small end pipe size can reduce to. It does not affect the length of the fitting. Remember, all fittings that are attached after the swage are obviously of a smaller pipe size and therefore will not only be shorter in length but will also have a shorter thread engagement. These important factors should not be overlooked when calculating the center to center dimensions of screwed or socket weld configurations. We will see this in detail further ahead.